Hi, so this video is supported by Reclaimant, the biggest and best scrapyard in Kent. So these things, even when you think they're empty, they're not. So let's get it back to the workshop and I'll show you how to make sure that's empty. So the problem with these things, even when you think they're empty, they're not. So you can't do anything with them because they're a potential explosion hazard. And that propane in there needs to be taken out. Taken out in its entirety. Now it's easy enough to do if you follow a few simple basic steps. That is the release valve. Sometimes they've got a little twist on them, sometimes they've got a little point pressure thing on there. If I put that in there, hear that? That's the propane coming out. What's left in there is coming out through that valve. So we need to get the propane out. So the first thing to do is to take it into an area where there are no naked flames and it's open. You can't do it in a well ventilated area like inside your house with the garage door open. You want it outside and away from any flames. And we need to release that gas and then we need to unscrew that. When we release the gas and unscrew that, you need to leave it lying around for about a day. I can assure you, these are an absolute pain to get off. What I do is, there we go, adjustable spanner, get it on there, get it started by hitting it with a hammer. Then this little lug here, I'm not going to use that again. So, a chisel in there, and whack it round anti-clockwise, and you get it to a stage where it can be loosened by hand. Now I can already smell the propane, so this is going back outside. Now you leave it either lying like that or upside down and we'll deal with this again in the morning when it's had a chance to clear. Okay, so we've given that some time to empty out. Now what we have to do is fill it with water. Filling it with water will drive out the remaining propane that's in there and make this safe to use. So let's get it filled. Okay, when you've been through that procedure, what you'd be left with is a lump of usable steel. Now, there's a few things to bear in mind. This is a perfectly safe procedure as long as you follow the rules. And <laughs> basically, do it outside. Well ventilated won't help you. It needs to be outside. You will smell the propane coming off, so make sure you're outside. When you fill it with water, remember water is a kilo per litre, and this took about 45 kilos, uh, sorry, 45 litres, plus the weight of this, it's a good 53 kilos there, so it's not easy to lift. So before you fill it with water, arrange for it to be emptyable. Because if you do a bigger one than this, you're not moving it. So you need it in a place where you can tilt it over easily, maybe with block and chain, and a place where it's going to drain, there's a lot of water in there, and it will be heavy. So prepare yourself for the emptying process to remove the water after you've filled it up. You do that, do it outside, do it safely, try not to smoke, no flames, no sparks. Everybody around you is aware, then it's going to be easy to do. And at the end of the day, what you're left with is nothing more than a lump of steel. Obviously, we can wear this in, we can crush it flat, or we're going to use it for making something out of. Anyway, I thought I'd go through that really simple procedure and how to empty these things. Hope it was helpful, and thank you very much for watching.